Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these three different types of vinyl pouches. This is such a fun tutorial because for all three of these pouches, you only need one base. So I'm gonna teach you how to make the base of your bags and then I'll show you how to take that base and turn it into these three different types of zipper pouches. So these are super great to keep yourself organized with your toiletries, your craft supplies, toys or even make it into a cute clutch and you can bring it to a stadium to be in accordance of their policies. So if you're interested in learning how to make these, I will have the measurements for each of these pouches over at the blog post, which will be linked below as well as the information icon, as well as links for the materials I use and where to get these super cute lace zippers. And of course, if you're not already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be alerted of new and future tutorials and smash that like button as the kids like to say. Okay, so let's get started. So first we're gonna start off with our vinyl. I chose to use a 16 ounce vinyl. It's very thick and it's nice and rigid so that I can have a nice shape when I make my box pouches. I'll be using these super cute lace zippers, but if you have a regular zipper, that's fine too. And also a Teflon foot. That's just a plastic foot. It'll help to slide on the vinyl when you go to put it in your machine. So I have my rectangle piece of vinyl and if you buy vinyl on the roll, it will come with a tissue backing. So I'm just gonna remove that. And then we're gonna take the zipper with the zipper pulled towards the vinyl. We're gonna line up the edge of the zipper with the edge of our vinyl. So because I'm using the lace zipper, I'm just gonna use the tip of the scallop as my edge. And when you're working with vinyl, you only wanna use clips because you don't wanna add more puncture holes if you don't have to. So I'm gonna use these clips, and if you're wondering where to get those, I will also have a link where you can find those over at the blog post. So now I'm gonna use my zipper foot to attach my zipper. Because I'm going to be sewing on top of the zipper, it's easy to glide through with just a regular zipper foot. So after you've done that, then we're gonna do a top stitch. You're probably gonna to wanna to switch to your Teflon foot to do the next part. If you don't have a Teflon foot, you could put a piece of scotch tape underneath your regular presser foot, and that will just help it glide across your vinyl a lot easier. But either way, even with the, the Teflon foot, you still have to sometimes, you know, guide it along. So I'm gonna put the Teflon foot on, and then I will start to sew the top stitch onto my vinyl. And because it's a little stiff, um, I'm just going to press down with my fingers to try to fold that, try to bend that into place, make it as flat as possible. Next, we're going to fold up the vinyl and we're gonna to start to install the other side of the zipper. So you're gonna fold up your vinyl towards the top of the zipper. So just make sure that your zipper pull is facing the fabric. And then again, I'm going to place some clips on the top. When you fold your vinyl in half, you'll most likely be able to keep it into place because the vinyl kind of wants to stick to itself. But when you get up to the zipper, it sometimes likes to slide around a bit. So that's why I'm gonna put some clips again. So I went and changed my foot back to my zipper foot to do this part. And then I will again, switch back to that Teflon foot to do the top stitch. Now I usually like to use zippers that are a little bit larger than my project because doing the top stitch with vinyl is a little bit more tricky just because it's harder to work with. It's harder to kind of shove it underneath the presser foot. So I'm going to flip the bag so it's right sides out. I know it's hard to see because it's clear vinyl, but just trust that it is right sides out now. And I'm just gonna fold that vinyl again so that we can try to do that top stitch along the zipper. So I'm just gonna place some clips and that's just gonna hold it down into place. So now I'm just gonna go ahead, switch back to my Teflon foot and then I will do that top stitch. So once you're done this, then you have your base. This is the base for all three of your zipper pouches. So I went ahead and made three different bases for each one of my zipper pouches. I made one in this blue lace 
But like I said, you can use any zipper. It does not matter which one. So the first one we're going to do is a regular zipper pouch. This one is super easy. You probably have made this one before. It's just a regular classic flat zipper pouch. So I'm gonna take it and turn it inside out. Whenever you're working with vinyl, you wanna make sure that your zipper is open a good amount. It's very important because if you don't have it open when you go to sew up your sides, you're gonna get locked out. You, there's, there's absolutely no way that you can get in there and open that zipper more. So I'm just gonna keep it open about 80% of the way and then I can guarantee I'll have absolutely no problems. So I just clipped it all so that it's nice and flat and even on all three sides. And we're just gonna sew down both sides and we're gonna make our zipper pouch. So be careful when you go over your zipper, you don't hit any stops or anything like that so you don't smash your needle. And we'll go up and I'm just using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. If you make your seam allowances too big, totally fine. You can just snip off that excess and you might even wanna snip off a little bit more in the corners just so you can get a nice sharp corner when you go to turn your bag. So I'm just snipping off that excess zipper. Because this is a see-through pouch, you're gonna see everything. So you wanna try to make it as neat as possible. So make sure you clip off any excess vinyl or any loose threads. Next, we're going to flip our bag. So our bag is pretty much done. All we need to do is flip it right sides out. So to help me in this process, I'm going to heat up my iron and then I'm going to heat up my ironing board. Then I'm gonna take my vinyl pouch, I'll place that on top of the heated surface. So, you know, sometimes I'll just leave it on there for like, you know, 45 seconds, just so that the heat can absorb into the board. And then I'll just lay my zipper pouch on top of that heat and it will absorb and it is so much easier to turn the bag, especially the little ones like the little bags. So I would definitely recommend doing that. Or if you have a hair dryer handy, you can do that as well. So once you flip it, then you do up your zipper and you're good to go. You have your first pouch. So now we're gonna work on the second pouch. So here is the pouch base. And like the first one, we're just going to sew up the sides. So I skipped that step just because we already did it on the first pouch. And now I'm going to clip off the excess zipper and the excess vinyl and any loose threads. And we are going to box the bottom of this pouch. So to box the bottom, you're just gonna grab a ruler. I really like quilting rulers because they have measurements on all four sides. We're gonna measure out the width of our bottom. So starting at the side seam, we're going to measure one inch by one inch. That measurement, once you multiply it by two, will be the width of your bag. So a one inch by one inch measurement will give you a two inch bottom. So just remember that because you can make this any measurement you want depending on your needs. So I'm just gonna pinch the bottom where I cut it out and line up the side seam with the center of the bottom of the pouch. And I'll just place some clips and we'll do that for both sides. When we go to sew this portion, you're for sure gonna need a Teflon foot just because you will be sewing two layers of vinyl together. And I'll use a quarter of an inch seam allowance when I do this step as well. So I hope you're enjoying this tutorial so far. If you're not already, I would love if you subscribed, hit that notification bell. I also have links to other social media down below. We have a Charm by Ashley Facebook group where you can come over, share what you're working on. It doesn't have to be Charm by Ashley. It can just be sewing projects. We love all things sewing and it's a great group of people. And yeah, so all those links are down below. Okay, so now that I have done the sewing on the two sides, then we can flip our bag. And again, this is pretty much done. So we're just gonna go and do that, what we did before. We're going to heat up the ironing board. I really honestly recommend doing some sort of heating ritual when you go to turn your vinyl bags. It's just so much easier. I like to use also my corner poker 
If you have never seen that before, I'll leave a link to that also over at the blog post. It's great for turning and pushing out your edges so that you don't end up tearing your bag or your material or whatever you're using. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and zip it up. And then I have my box bottom zipper pouch. Super cute, I love these ones, especially for toiletries or for craft supplies. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the last one. And this is our box pouch, our traditional toiletry bag. So we have our base again, and we're gonna do a little different than the first one. Again, we will make sure that it is inside out, and we are going to take the zipper and we're gonna center that. So just push it down to the center of the fabric so it is folded on both sides. I'm gonna use my ruler to make sure that that's perfectly centered. And then we can just put some clips on both sides. When I go to start sewing, I'm actually going to be placing some tabs and I'm gonna place that underneath the zippers. Normally with box pouches, it's a little bit more difficult to open unless you have a little tab so that you can hang on to it. So I'm gonna do that when I start sewing. For my tabs, I'm just gonna use some regular grain ribbon, but you can use whatever you like. If you have some strapping or twill tape or even a little piece of scrap zipper, anything that will look cute with your bag. We're gonna sew down both sides with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And this is where I'm gonna take my little piece of ribbon, folding it in half and then placing the loop portion towards the center of the pouch. And I'm just gonna line that up perfectly with my zipper teeth. And I'll just keep sewing along with my quarter of an inch seam allowance. And I'm gonna put a tab on both sides. So again, lining that up with the zipper teeth. So after that, we're gonna go ahead and get our ruler and a marking tool, pen, marker, whatever. And we're going to create a square or a notch on all four sides of our bag. I'm going to be doing a one and a quarter inch. So starting at that seam, I will measure out one quarter inch square. And I'm just gonna draw that with my pen. Then I'm just gonna cut out each notch with my scissors. So it's basically like the last one, we're cutting out our notches and then we will push the side seam towards the center of the fold. But before I do that, I'm just gonna, again, cut off all the excess zippers, you know, your threads, everything, just because it'll be so much easier to do it now than when your bag is completely assembled. So now I'm just going to flatten those notches, lining up that seam centered as best as you can get it. As long as your notches are pretty square, you should have zero problems. And this is how it should be looking. And we're just gonna do a quarter of an inch seam allowance on all four corners again. I absolutely love these pouches, especially for your toiletries, you know, your brushes and your toothbrushes and things like that. I'm definitely going to be making more of these, especially for my kids when they go for sleepovers. So again, I just heated up my ironing board and warmed up the zipper pouch and then I'm going to flip it right sides out. And then that's it. You have an adorable zipper pouch. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was a little long, but I really didn't want to make three separate tutorials for something that is pretty much just all made from the same base. So I thought that I would do just one video with all three pouches. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you share it with all your friends. And like I said, if you do make any of my tutorials, I would love to see it. So follow me over at Charm by Ashley on Instagram and Facebook. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys.